then the question is, you know, as a voter, why should I be supporting ARP? And the fact that it's going, I mean, the fact that it's going to form the government, I mean, anything is possible. Elections are still away, so anything is possible. But for a party which has been in power for, you know, been around for just a year, the odds of it coming, getting a complete majority in the center is really far-fetched at this point, at least. Um, so given that concern, thinking that you're not going to be able to form the government, you're not going to have enough seats to have a complete majority, why should I, why should someone, you know, support the party uh, with knowing fully well that this might not be a uh, possibility? Does that make sense if I phrase my wrong question sort of in a little bit long-winded way? No, no, this is perfect. Okay, go ahead, Pankaj. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, think of it that uh, you say that it is clear that we will not form the government. We said that it is not known that we will form the government at this point. There is a search and we have to develop it, we have to build on it, we have to work very hard to achieve what we want to achieve and be there in a position that we can really make, make the shots in the parliament. Uh, today, whether we are in the government or in the opposition, people do believe that we will not do wrong things as well as we will not let anything wrong happen. And that in itself is a, a pretty positive uh, sign. And this question keeps coming up, that why are you fighting if you can't form the government? To be very frank, there are 1400 parties in the country and perhaps a large fraction of them do fight election, whether it is parliament or a state election, somewhere in the country. Um, but why are we fighting? And when we talk about it, people definitely say this, that if you are there, you will definitely ensure that nothing goes wrong in the parliament. You would be the first one to bring out to the public of this country, to the citizens of this country, that what is actually happening, why is it happening, whether it should happen or not, and without uh, 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 being worried about the consequences of the government uh, being there or not, you will bring to the notice that we, uh, whether this action should have been taken or not. And more than that, we sincerely believe that our party was uh, did come into existence, not because uh, uh, we were happy with one or the other party, but because we sincerely believed that none of the existing parties can give to this country what they deserve. And if there is no opposition today, when will it come? Somewhere it has to start. If it has to start today, we will start today. And we will, we will keep working for it. That's all, Pran. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Praveen, did you want to add to that? Yeah, two or three things I will say, Pran. Uh, one, we need to know that the third largest party currently in the Indian parliament has less than 25 seats. I think it's Samajwadi party. Uh, so one plays a very critical role even with 25, 30, 40, 50 seats is one thing we don't need to lose perspective on. The other, I think, is the, the more appropriate answer to your question is we need to see the Ahmadmi party in a much longer time frame. It's a different matter that we've got a chance to form a state government within a year. But when we have social political change, we should see this as at least a 15 year gain. And it is the, the intent of honest, honest politics that the Ahmadmi party brings in, which is completely lacking all the other parties, which is the reason this party needs to be supported. Forming the government right now is not that critical. I mean, it is going to be another coalition government of which we might be a part, might not be a part. This government might last a few years, not last, but the fact that a new kind of force which brings in a certain idealism, which brings in concern for issues of the people is in the right intent is there. I think it needs to be supported just for that reason. Anybody who's been living in this country for the last 20, 30 years knows that the current political parties are completely decrepit. They have no concern for people. All they say is hogwash when it comes to elections. We all know that. Many of us who are in our 30s and 40s have probably never voted so far because we really know there are no options. The fact that the AAP is the possibility of an option of an alternative, it needs to be supported just for that reason. It is clearly only time will tell how much we'll be able to deliver on some of these promises. 
but the fact that there is hope in this the fact that a bunch of well meaning people put out their lives i think it needs to be supported just for that reason to keep that big picture the long term possibility in mind when we talk of supporting on if we get caught in discussion and the or the water tariff why did you give electricity these kind of decisions will be wrong matters of judgment i think we need to keep the big perspective in mind we need a completely different kind of politics we need to centralize the power in this country we need to deal politics from money so that we who are in power can actually take decisions for well being of people i think it to be supported for all that with the table that would be my pitch but of course it's only sad when i make this pitch as an insider it seems as if oh you are from the party therefore you're saying this but i would say this even as an outsider i mean i i believe i am an outsider currently in the party i am as skeptical about everything we do many of us question what we are doing but i think it is this hope that ab brings to the table because of which it needs to be supported excellent uh, point pravin i think the fact that you've been involved in the in the party and the fact that you're able to say that you know there is internal debate it's not like we don't understand these issues these are constantly debated that is i think great to know 